From bell bottoms and tie-dye to Farrah Fawcett bangs and rock and roll, the creation of video games and multiple political turmoils. The 70s were a decade like no other. It was a time of emerging cultures and new technological innovations. And along with the new advances came new faces into the Hollywood spotlight, including many beautiful women. A large portion of the stars who made it big during this era are still enjoying successful careers today. But who doesn't love a good old-fashioned trip down memory lane? Take a look at what some of the most notable female celebrities' movie, television, models, sport athletes, and music stars of the disco decade look like today and find out what they're up to. Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt widely recognized as the first lady of rock and queen of rock, embarked on her musical journey with performances at the Troubadour in West Hollywood, the very venue where Elton John rose to fame. Over the course of her illustrious career, the rock queen clinched an impressive array of accolades, including 10 Grammy Awards and over 30 gold and platinum recordings. Ronstadt's musical journey, however, took a poignant turn in 2012 when she received a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, compelling her to bid farewell to the stage and retire from performing. In 2013, she shared the intricacies of her experiences in the spotlight through her memoir, Simple Dreams, a Musical Memoir. Despite facing the challenges brought on by health issues, Linda Ronstadt's impact on the music industry remains indelible, and her legacy continues to resonate among music enthusiasts. Goldie Hawn Goldie Hawn's journey into the limelight began as a professional performer before she achieved the status of the famous actress we know today. Her breakthrough came in 1969 when she landed a significant role in Cactus Flower a performance that not only showcased her talent but also earned her the prestigious Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Since her Oscar-winning role, Hawn has graced numerous films, solidifying her position in Hollywood and earning a reputation as a versatile and accomplished actress. Despite taking a hiatus in the early 2000s, Goldie Hawn has continued to contribute to the world of entertainment, proving that her passion for acting endures through the decades. Pam Greer. Pam Greer's journey to stardom began in the 1970s, with notable roles in films like The Big Doll House, 1971, and The Bird Cage, 1972. The significance of her impact was evident when she became the first black woman to grace the cover of Ms. Magazine in August 1975, a groundbreaking moment that reflected her influence and recognition in the industry. However, her path was not without challenges. While filming The Big Doll House in the Philippines, Greer contracted a severe tropical disease, requiring almost a year for her to fully recover. Undeterred by setbacks, she made a triumphant return to the big screen in Quentin Tarantino's landmark film Jackie Brown in 1997, showcasing her resilience and enduring talent. In a poignant turn of events, Pam Greer faced a life-altering diagnosis in 1988 when she was told she had cancer and had only 18 months to live. Instead of succumbing to the prognosis, she embraced a transformative lifestyle, defying expectations and emerging stronger. Today, she continues to defy age and expectations, actively contributing to the world of entertainment. Linda Gray Linda Gray's illustrious career traces back to the 1960s when she initially made a mark in the entertainment industry through television advertisements. Her breakthrough came in 1978 when she secured the iconic role of Sue Ellen in the television series Dallas, a character she portrayed with undeniable brilliance until 1989. The performance earned her numerous nominations, attesting to the depth of her talent and contribution to the industry. Beyond the small screen, Gray ventured into the world of cinema, sharing the screen with heavyweight Sylvester Stallone in the 1991 film Oscar. Her versatility extended to various other films, showcasing her ability to tackle diverse roles with finesse. The recognition of her acting prowess didn't confine itself to screens, as she also took her talents to the stage, gracing London's West End with captivating performances. 
as she continues to captivate audiences both on screen and on stage, her legacy remains a testament to the timeless quality of her contributions to the world of entertainment. Dolly Parton The vivacious country superstar Dolly Parton continues to radiate her undeniable charm and musical prowess, showcasing a persona that's far from shy. Renowned for timeless hits like Jolene, I Will Always Love You, and Nine to Five, she has left an indelible mark on the music landscape. Parton's influence extends beyond the realm of music, with memorable performances in cinematic gems like Steel Magnolias and The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, proving her versatility as both a singer and actress. In a testament to her enduring impact, the witty blonde Dynamo achieved a significant milestone in 2022 by being inducted into the prestigious Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Undeterred by the passage of time, Parton continues to break new ground, teasing fans with the announcement of her first-ever rock album titled Rockstar, slated for release in November 2023. This upcoming venture further solidifies her as a trailblazer, unafraid to explore new genres and captivate audiences across generations. Kate Jackson Kate Jackson, the talented actress who portrayed Sabrina Duncan in the iconic 1970s television series Charlie's Angels, left an indelible mark on the era. Her portrayal of Sabrina captivated audiences for three seasons, contributing to the show's immense popularity. Beyond her time as an angel, Jackson's career unfolded with continued success. Post Charlie's Angels Kate Jackson seamlessly transitioned to diverse roles in both television and film, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Notable projects include engaging performances in Scarecrow, Mrs. King, and Baby Boom, demonstrating her ability to excel in various genres. Jackson's exceptional talent didn't go unnoticed, as evidenced by her recognition at prestigious awards. She received three Emmy Award nominations and four Golden Globe nominations, a testament to her impact on the entertainment industry. Even as the years passed, Kate Jackson's passion for storytelling endured. In 2009, she embarked on a new chapter, channeling her creativity into writing. This transition marked a compelling evolution in her career, showcasing a multifaceted talent not limited to the screen. Ali McGraw Ali McGraw's journey in the entertainment industry is a captivating narrative that began with humble origins in television commercials. Her breakthrough moment came in 1969 with a standout performance in Goodbye Columbus a role that earned her the prestigious Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer. This early recognition laid the foundation for a remarkable career trajectory. The turning point for McGraw came with the iconic film Love Story, where she portrayed the character of Jenny opposite Ryan O'Neill. The emotional depth and chemistry she brought to the role resonated with audiences worldwide, catapulting her to international stardom. The success of Love Story not only solidified her position in Hollywood, but also established her as a sought-after talent. In the wake of Love Story's global acclaim, McGraw's career reached new heights and her influence expanded beyond the silver screen. Her recent reunion with former co-star Ryan O'Neill in the stage production of Love Letters serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring legacy of their on-screen partnership. Kim Bassinger Kim Bassinger's entry into the entertainment industry is a fascinating tale that began with her remarkable success as a model. Discovered by Ford models, she swiftly ascended to the pinnacle of the fashion world during the 1970s, where her daily earnings reached an impressive $1,000 by the age of 20. This early recognition in the modeling industry laid the groundwork for a multifaceted career that would soon extend into Hollywood. In a bold move in 1976, Kim transitioned from the runway to the silver screen, marking her debut in television series like Charlie's Angels. This transition showcased her versatility and set the stage for a successful acting career.
Kim's venture into Hollywood gained further momentum in 1983 when she secured the coveted role of a Bond girl in Never Say Never Again, solidifying her status as a cinematic force. The pinnacle of Kim's acting journey came in 1997 when she clinched the Academy Award for her exceptional performance in the film noir classic Lay Confidential. This prestigious accolade underscored her acting prowess and marked a defining moment in her illustrious career. Despite her long-standing success, Kim Basinger continues to remain an active and influential figure in the entertainment industry. In 2016, she shared the screen with Russell Crowe in The Nice Guys, displaying her enduring ability to captivate audiences. The following year, she took on an uncredited role in the movie adaptation of Fifty Shades Darker and maintained her presence in the franchise with an appearance in Fifty Shades Freed in 2018. Billie Jean King Billie Jean King's indelible mark on sports history is epitomized by her legendary triumph in the 1973 Battle of the Sexes tennis match against Bobby Riggs. This iconic event, now etched in the annals of sports lore, catapulted Billie Jean King to unprecedented prominence. The significance of this match was so profound that it inspired a film featuring Emma Stone portraying the tennis legend. Beyond her prowess on the tennis court, Billie Jean King emerged as a fervent advocate for gender equality. Her efforts led to groundbreaking initiatives, persuading large companies to sponsor female athletics. In an era where such endeavors were rare, Billie Jean King's unwavering commitment to leveling the playing field for women in sports resonated far beyond the confines of tennis courts. In a trailblazing move, Billie Jean King became the first prominent athlete to come out as homosexual, challenging stereotypes and paving the way for increased visibility and acceptance within the sports community. Her courage in embracing her identity contributed significantly to the ongoing conversation about LGBTQ plus representation in sports. The culmination of her illustrious tennis career and tireless advocacy efforts occurred in 1981 when Billie Jean King was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. This prestigious recognition solidified her status as a sports icon, honoring not only her unparalleled achievements on the court, but also her enduring impact on the landscape of sports and societal norms. Anne Margaret. Anne Margaret's illustrious career embarked on a trajectory of success with her breakout role as Kim McAfee in the 1963 film Bye Bye Birdie when she was just 22 years old. This early triumph marked the beginning of a flourishing career that would span decades and encompass various facets of the entertainment industry. In the ensuing years, Anne Margaret's versatility and talent propelled her to a myriad of roles in Hollywood. Noteworthy among her recent contributions are performances in the 2017 film Going In Style, where she shared the screen with Morgan Freeman, and the 2018 film Papa. These roles underscored her enduring presence in the film industry, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences across generations. Beyond her accomplishments in film, Anne Margaret has also left an indelible mark on the music scene. Her notable achievements in the realm of music are exemplified by a Grammy nomination, a testament to her multifaceted talents that extend beyond acting. Her musical career has added yet another layer to her artistic legacy, proving her prowess as a performer across different artistic domains. As a seasoned artist with a career spanning several decades, Anne Margaret's continued contributions to both film and music underscore her enduring relevance in the entertainment landscape. Morgan Fairchild Morgan Fairchild, originally named Patsy Ann McClenney, carved her path to stardom by portraying Jennifer Pace on the popular TV series Search for Tomorrow from 1973 to 1977. This role not only brought her widespread recognition, but also opened doors to further opportunities in the entertainment industry. During this period, she showcased her acting prowess in well-received productions like Happy Days, Kojak, and Dallas, 
solidifying her status as a versatile actress. However, it was in the 1980s that Morgan Fairchild achieved heightened fame with her portrayal of Constance Weldon Semple Carlyle in the TV series Flamingo Road. This role showcased her ability to tackle complex characters and further endeared her to audiences. Despite the changing landscape of television, Morgan Fairchild has continued to grace both the small and big screens, demonstrating her enduring talent. A testament to her versatility, she recently returned to the soap opera genre with a role on Days of Our Lives, demonstrating her commitment to diverse roles and her ongoing impact on the world of entertainment. As Morgan Fairchild continues to captivate audiences, her journey from Jennifer Pace to the present day remains an impressive testament to her lasting influence in the realm of television. Raquel Welch Raquel Welch, the epitome of a Hollywood bombshell, left an indelible mark on the industry, particularly with her iconic fur bikini in One Million Years B.C. Following the success of this film, her career continued its upward trajectory. In 1973, she showcased her acting prowess in The Three Musketeers, earning her a well-deserved Golden Globe and further solidifying her status as a talented actress. Beyond the silver screen, Raquel Welch demonstrated her versatility by venturing into the realm of business. She became a successful businesswoman, sharing her insights on beauty and fitness. Her total beauty and fitness program, encapsulated in a book and accompanying videos, became a valuable resource for those aspiring to achieve a healthier lifestyle. Despite the passing years, Raquel Welch remains a cultural icon, demonstrating that her influence extends beyond her on-screen performances. Her most recent venture into acting was in 2017 with Date My Dad, reaffirming her enduring appeal and ability to connect with audiences across generations. Alison Arngrim Alison Arngrim immortalized as the unforgettable Nellie Olson in Little House on the Prairie, remains a prominent figure whose career has extended beyond the iconic TV series. Following her portrayal of the little nasty Nellie, Arngrim embarked on a journey that saw her land roles in various TV shows and movies. However, it's true that she didn't quite replicate the same level of success as her days on the beloved Prairie. In 2010, Arngrim added author to her list of accomplishments with the release of a comedic memoir titled Confessions of a Prairie Bitch, How I Survived Nellie Olson and Learned to Love Being Hated. The memoir not only provided insights into her experiences, but also showcased her wit and humor, resonating with fans and readers alike. Beyond the entertainment industry, Arngrim has actively embraced philanthropy. Today, she remains committed to charity work, using her platform to make a positive impact and contribute to causes close to her heart, Terry Garr. Terry Garr, a multifaceted talent in the realms of acting, performance, and vocals, carved an impressive niche in the entertainment industry. Her collaborations were nothing short of iconic, starring opposite Gene Wilder in the comedic masterpiece Young Frankenstein and making memorable appearances in acclaimed films like Tootsie and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. With a staggering 140 credits to her name in both television and film, Terry Garr's versatility and skill left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. However, her life took an unexpected turn when she received a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis in 2002. Despite this challenging setback, Terry Garr faced the adversity with resilience and grace. Transitioning away from the limelight, she made a conscious decision to retire from performing in 2007. In a remarkable twist of fate, Terry Garr transformed a personal struggle into a platform for advocacy and awareness. Embracing her role as the national ambassador for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, she became a powerful voice for those battling the condition. Her journey from acclaimed actress to dedicated advocate underscores the strength and determination with which she tackled life's unexpected challenges, turning a negative situation into a positive force for change. Kirstie Alley 
Kirstie Alley, a versatile actress, stepped into the limelight with her on-screen debut in 1978, setting the stage for a career marked by diverse and memorable roles. While she gained initial recognition as Savik in the sci-fi classic Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan in 1982, it was her role as Rebecca Howe on the iconic sitcom Cheers that solidified her status as a television sensation. The sitcom, which ran from 1987 to 1993, became a cultural phenomenon, and Kirstie Alley's portrayal of Rebecca garnered widespread acclaim. In recognition of her outstanding performance, she clinched the Golden Globe Award in 1991, a testament to her exceptional talent and contribution to the show's success. Despite her success on the small screen, Kirstie Alley's foray into the entertainment industry has been multifaceted. Beyond her television triumphs, she ventured into film and continued to diversify her portfolio. One of her recent roles was in the 2020 TV movie, You Can't Take My Daughter, where she took on the character of Suzanne, Cicely Tyson. Cicely Tyson, an illustrious figure in the entertainment industry, embarked on her journey as a model and actress in the late 1950s, her commitment to the craft and undeniable talent soon propelled her into the spotlight, setting the stage for a groundbreaking career. In 1974, Tyson delivered a transformative performance in The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, where she portrayed a remarkable 110-year-old former slave. This portrayal not only showcased her acting prowess, but also earned her two Emmy Awards, solidifying her status as a trailblazer in the industry. The depth and authenticity she brought to the character left an indelible mark on audiences and critics alike. Cicely Tyson's contributions to the portrayal of African-American stories in film and television have been pivotal. Her ability to bring characters to life with nuance and dignity has left an enduring impact on the landscape of Hollywood. Even as she celebrated her 93rd birthday, Tyson continued to be a dynamic force, remaining active in the industry and serving as an inspiration to aspiring actors. Charlene Tilton Charlene Tilton, best known for her portrayal of Lucy Ewing on the iconic television series Dallas, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Beyond her time on Dallas, Tilton's journey continued with a commitment to her craft and a venture into the world of music. In 1984, Tilton made waves with the release of her pop single, Sav, a track that not only showcased her versatility, but also resonated with audiences across European countries, marking a successful foray into the music scene. Beyond her artistic pursuits, Charlene Tilton has emerged as a compassionate advocate for social causes. Currently serving as the president and ambassador for actors with autism, she has become a prominent voice for autism awareness. Her dedication to making a positive impact is evident in the organization's initiatives, including offering improvisation and acting classes tailored for autistic children and adults. Barbara Streisand Barbara Streisand, an icon whose influence transcends the realms of singing and acting, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Emerging from a successful singing career and notable appearances in musical films like Funny Girl and Hello, Dolly. In the late 1960s, Streisand's star continued to rise throughout the 1970s. Venturing beyond the spotlight, Streisand has diversified her portfolio with titles such as producer, director, composer, and writer. Her creative prowess extends beyond the stage, with significant contributions to various facets of the entertainment world. In addition to her enduring presence on screen, Streisand has continued to showcase her vocal prowess, captivating audiences with her timeless voice. Even in recent times, she completed a successful tour, reaffirming her status as a powerhouse performer. Looking towards the future, Streisand has embarked on a literary journey. In 2015, it was announced that she would be penning a memoir, providing audiences with a glimpse into the extraordinary life and career of this multifaceted artist. With its release scheduled in the near future, fans can anticipate an intimate exploration of Streisand's experiences and insights.
Loretta Swit. Loretta Swit, celebrated for her iconic portrayal of Major Margaret on Mass H, stands as an Emmy Award-winning actress with a career marked by diverse achievements. Beyond the familiar television screens, Swit's journey in the entertainment industry encompasses a noteworthy presence in remarkable stage productions. In recognition of her significant contributions, Sweet was bestowed with a star on the illustrious Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1989. This accolade serves as a testament to her enduring impact and recognition by the entertainment community. While Sweet's active acting career extended into the late 1990s, a period during which she graced audiences with her talent, she transitioned into a less active phase in Hollywood. Nevertheless, her commitment to the arts persists as she engages in writing and occasional performances, often taking on minor roles and lending her distinctive voice to various projects, including voiceovers. Maureen McCormick Maureen McCormick, forever etched in television history as Marsha Brady from the iconic sitcom The Brady Bunch, has had a diverse career that extends beyond her Brady days. While she reprised the role of Marsha in spin-off feature films and TV movies, McCormick ventured into the realm of reality TV, showcasing different facets of her personality. The actress embraced the challenges of reality TV, participating in shows like I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and competing on the dance floor in Dancing with the Stars. These ventures not only revealed her adventurous spirit, but also allowed fans to see a different side of the beloved Marsha. In addition to her television endeavors, McCormick has continued to explore her passion for acting. Her most recent on-screen appearance was in the 2018 short film titled Eleron, showcasing her enduring commitment to the craft, Julie Andrews. Julie Andrews, a name synonymous with extraordinary acting talent and a captivating singing voice, achieved international stardom through her iconic roles in the movie musicals Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Beyond the silver screen, Andrews ventured into television, headlining five variety specials on ABC between 1973 and 1975. This transition showcased her versatility and further solidified her status as an entertainment icon, while her earlier works secured her a permanent place in the hearts of audiences, Julie Andrews has continued to contribute to the world of entertainment. In a delightful twist, her most recent role took her into the realm of animated films. She lent her voice to the character of Gru's mom in the animated hit Despicable Me 3, and Minions, The Rise of Gru. Barbie Benton. Barbie Benton, known for her captivating photo sessions for Playboy, initially garnered attention not just for her striking beauty, but also due to her relationship with Playboy founder Hugh Hefner. The couple's romance spanned from 1969 to 1976, a period that further elevated Benton's public profile. Beyond her association with Hefner, Barbie made her mark in the world of entertainment. Her appearances on popular shows like Love Boat, Sugar Time, and Fantasy Island showcased her versatility and contributed to her growing popularity. Benton's journey, which began as a model, took a personal turn when she married real estate developer George Grado in 1979. The union resulted in the expansion of her family, with the arrival of two children. Despite her active involvement in various aspects of public life, 2014 marked a notable shift for Barbie Benton. It became the year of her last public appearance, leaving fans and admirers to reflect on her impactful contributions to both the modeling and entertainment spheres.